and thank you so much for your continued support that you are giving me on this platform so ladies and gentlemen my request is only that keep on supporting me keep on watching my videos until to the end and always like my videos so that they can get higher recommendation on youtube channel thank you so much for subscribing and for liking my videos and always comment so that you so that by doing that one you will be showing me a great support so ladies and gentlemen we are going to have a conversation on morara kibason some people call him a content creator some people call him a lawyer some people are just attacking him anyhow we about against what he's doing by exposing the ghost project of the national government so ladies and gentlemen let me ask you a question is what Morara Kibasu doing, is it a wrong thing or a bad thing? By putting the people of Kenya on the limelight on what is happening here in Kenya. Because I think on my side, what Morara, Morara Kibasu is doing, it is just giving the people of Kenya a clear map on how the money that is being put on this project is being handled or is being used. And that is what Morara Kibaso is trying to do, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing more than, ex more than giving us the truth. Or there is nothing that Morara Kibaso is doing apart from putting the people of Kenya on the map on how the Yamani is being used in projects that William Samoy Ruto always launched here in Kenya. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the last one month, the government of William Samuel Ruto and the bloggers or contractors are facing it rough after Murara Kibaso is exposing the ghost project and uh, the launch project that have not yet been accomplished. Yet, William Samuel Ruto allocated a billions of money in those projects. So, Murara Kibaso is just trying to tell the people of Kenya how the money is being used. And ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, update you on something here. Yesterday, sorry, after Murara Kibaso stormed Georgia in Kiambu, yesterday he was able to visit, an ex, uh, to visit the Isiolo County so that he can uh, expose or give us the truth that is happening in Siolo headquarters and even Isiolo Mog. So yesterday, when Morara Kibaso was doing his rally in Siolo, some paid goons attacked Morara Kibaso and even stoned his vehicle that the people of Kenya bought for him so that he can use it to his nationwide tour here in Kenya. And before I continue, I just wanted to watch this ugly scene that was spotted yesterday in Nisiolo County. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have seen that ugly scene that was spotted in Isiolo country. And that one shows that the government have realized that if Morara Kibaso will continue exposing the national government project, it is going to be worse, especially on William Samoy Ruto's government and on these contractors and even the bloggers. Because as I am talking to you right now, the bloggers are facing different challenges due to unaccomplished project here in Kenya. And that is why the, uh, William Samoy Ruto and his team, or his intelligence, 
are threatening the life of Morara Kibaso. And let me show you, ladies and gentlemen, the bloggers have already started removing the play cards that have the name of William Samoy Ruto and have the name of the contractors and have the money that was allocated to finish or to start the project. But the big question is that where is, it, where is the money going that it is being launched to done all these projects here in Kenya? You know very well that what Murara Kibaso is doing, it's going to bring a change here in Kenya for the future and the younger generation that are coming. That is the Alpha Gen Z. And even this Gen Z that shape up and wake up the, uh, the mind of the people of Kenya that the power belongs to the people of Kenya, but not the government. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why some people are attacking Murara Kibaso. And this was the high time, or this was the good time, for the people of Kenya to rally back behind Murara Kibaso so that they can support him in 2027 election. Because you know very well that uh, uh, right now, there are some people that are supporting Murara Kibaso. There are, some, there are people that are going Murara Kibaso. And ladies and gentlemen, the person that should be uh, attacked or should be overthrown from the government is William Samoy Ruto. Because of what? If, if William Samoy Ruto is doing this on his project, what about the MP, Senator, Governor, MC? What will they do if they are represent? in their representative place. Because did you see even what Rigadi Gashagwa spoke about when he was in Transoia? He attacked William Samoy Ruto in the direct way about fake promises, saying that he cannot promise the people of Transoia a road, yet he will not deliver it. Because Rigadi Gashagwa is always a, truth, a truthful man. And the government is now worried that this issue is now coming uh, terribly or wasn't. Because it has already reached a part that the play cards of the bloggers and William Samoy Ruto and the money that was located to fund or to start the project, it's being removed. And, le and ladies and gentlemen, Attacking Morara Kibaso is not going to solve the problem of the people of Kenya. That one I just want to assure you. I think government could have looked for a better way to solve or uh, have sit down with Morara Kibaso and have a discussion on the state house. The way William Samoy Ruto had a conversation with the journalist from Citizen TV, KTN, people like Kaikai, KTN, KBC and any other platform or any, any other social media platform here in Kenya so that we can talk about this issue because it is going to affect the government of William Samoy Ruto terribly and this one can make William Samoy Ruto to lose the president or lose the election in 2027 because Brother Kebaso have done this one for, I think, two months now. And people have realized the truth be, be, be behind what Morara Kibaso is exposing. It is something that is being seen on the limelight because they always take videos. They are not edited things. They always take, took videos on the stadiums, on the uncomplete stadiums, uncomplete bridge, and any other project that was launched with William Samoy Ruto. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Team Frontliner TV, thank you so much for your support that you are giving me on this platform. Thank you so much. May God bless you. And let us meet the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly within no time.